guys, welcome back to my channel and to the first story time video of 2019. AKA, I didn't have any footage for a vlog because I spent all week playing Xbox. Anywho, this story goes back about to about 14 or 15 years old. Apparently, my last 10 years have been very fucking uneventful. So it takes place once again up at the local football field where me and all my friends play football. There will be no football in this story, which is weird considering that's all we fucking ever really did. We're up at this field. We've been done playing football for the day. That's it, we're done with it. You know, we're bored of it now. We're knackered. So we decide to walk our little asses down to the other end of the field. Behind the goal is like a little children's play area sort of thing. You got slides, you got swings, you got some other stuff I don't actually, I never really paid that much attention to the children's play area for obvious reasons. Not an ounce. But in this play area was this like metal and rope pyramid sort of climbing frame thing. This oddly shaped weird looking kind of thing. I'm not really too sure how to describe it. And like I said, we were bored so we kind of just came up with a game. It's a game that I'm pretty sure every young group of friends has some kind of variation of. Our variation of it was a game called Last Man Standing. Which I feel like is pretty self fucking explanatory 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 the idea of the game to win the game is to be the last man standing on this climbing frame you know it's not fucking rocket tire there was a lot of tactics that were employed and that could be used to win this game you know you can either pull someone's leg off and send them sliding down you can get hold of someone's hand and undo their grip and hopefully they're gonna ah, you know fall back or one of the more commonly used tactics in this game was to get squeeze your body between the climbing frame and another person who was hanging on and just kind of push your back out and try and force them off of it. Now, the only problem with this game, well, I, the only problem, there were a few problems with this game. One of the main problems with this game and trying to send each other flying off of this climbing frame was that the ground itself was not as soft as it could have been, unfortunately. Rather than just soft grass down below, which of course there was, but underneath that was kind of like some black rubbery sort of material, kind of like the sort of stuff you have at the base of a swing set sort of thing. So it had quite a bit of a hard impact to it when you hit it, which I mean, admittedly could and probably should have deterred us. But we're kids, so fuck it. Who really cares if someone gets hurt? It's all in the name of fun, you know, fuck it. And especially considering there was about maybe six to eight of us who played this game, one or two injuries, no one really cares. We're here for the enjoyment and the fun and being told that we are number one. We are better than all of you fucking peasants. Yeah, fuck off. If you won the game, you, you felt like you had achieved something. You felt like, you know what? I'm better than all my friends. I'm stronger than all my friends. You're all pussies. Fuck you. So, you know, it didn't really matter if someone got hurt or not. This is a sod it. <laughs> But anyway, like I said, there was about seven or eight of us who played this game, and one day in the final of this game, the final two competitors ended up being me and Steve. Now, I don't really know how this happened, because if you look at me, I've not exactly got guns of steel or anything like that. I'm not exactly a menacing fucking individual. I'm not like, oh, look at, I'm Arnie, I get to the job, I get, to, you know, I'm not that shit. And I mean, Steve. Well, he's built like a twig, let's be honest. He's fucking this thin. Like, how is he gonna win a game like that? So I thought, you know what? I've got the win here. This will be fucking easy for me. Dust my shoulders off, put in a few shots, bish bash bosh, down he goes. I've got the win fucking easy. I'm gonna dominate him. Not like that, you fucking weirdos. Can't quite tell what he was thinking and probably along the same sort of things, just, you know, less cringy. But I had a tactic that I don't think anybody had used on this game before. I was like, you know what? Big fan of the WWE. Virgin! I've got a move to win this fucking game. What I'll do is I'll waddle over... Waddle? No, I'm not... I wasn't fat back then, alright? I'm fat now. I wasn't fat then. I'll uh, manoeuvre my way over to where Steve is on this climb afraid he's going high, going around, trying to get away from me. No, Kimosabi. I've got the win here. What am I doing with these accents? For fuck, what am I doing? Anyway, like I said, I've got a manoeuvre for this. I in I watched WWE quite a bit. I had a move. If you watch WWE, you will know what a German suplex is. If you don't, I'll insert a clip of a German suplex right now. Go Yeah, so that was my game winning maneuver that I had in my head. I was like, I've got this. I've got the win in the bag. What I'll do is I'll get up behind him. He's going to think he can just push me off like I said before because I'm behind him. He's between me and the favorite. He's going to do that. No, 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 Steve. Fuck off. My plan here was I was going to hook my legs over two ropes on a level below us, grab him around the waist, cinch it in, and then just kind of throw myself backwards and throw him over my head. Now, <laughs> In hindsight, this is a potentially very, very dangerous maneuver to pull off. If we rewatch the clip of the German suplex I showed. 
once they're over the head, the aggressor in the situation lets go and that person goes flying. That's WWE all scripted, all fake, all done safely. Me and Steve on the other hand, I'm not a WWE wrestler. I don't know how to do it safely, so I don't quite want to let him go and send him hurtling to the bottom of this fucking climbing frame because I could really hurt him. And then I might get in trouble with mom and I don't want that. So rather than pull it off flawlessly like that, what I do is once I've got him over my head and cinched over, he's kind of like upside down. I just kind of keep hold of him like this and he's hanging upside down. So I've got my legs in upside down like some sort of like cool Spider-Man sort of thing. And he's kind of just hanging laughing, trying to escape, and thankful that I didn't drop him. At least I think that's what it was. While all my friends down the bottom are loving it, they're down the bottom laughing, pissing themselves, and I'm kind of in a little predicament here, because I'm like, well, do I let him go and just drop him, and then he gets hurt and he lands on his fucking head? Or is there a way I can still win this game, but look cool doing it? No. So I kind of just loosen my grip bit by bit, let him slide out. He kind of goes upside down, rolls off. Everyone is loving it. I mean, at the time, I'm loving it, because I'm like, yeah, no one saw that fucking move coming, did you? Yeah, I'm a fucking champion at this game, yeah. Admittedly, it wasn't that much of a big deal. It's just a game on a climbing frame. Really? Like, I mean, who really cares? Let's be honest. But like I said, at the time, I'm loving life because I've just beat everyone and I've beat Steve. The person who I have most competition with is him. So it's like, if I, if I beat him in anything, oh, you know I ain't letting that shit drop. Oh. In hindsight, looking back, very, very dangerous. It was a very, 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 very dangerous thing to do. But if we shoot back to 15-year-old me, I just want to win. Fuck consequences. Fuck what happens. If I win, it's worth it. Let's be honest. But luckily, Steve didn't get hurt. He saw the funny side in it. Everyone kind of saw the funny side in it. Everyone really enjoyed the day. I really enjoyed it. I think we ended up playing a couple more games after that, which I didn't win. So, you know, they're not very important. Don't really have a moral or message to this story at all. It's just kind of something uh, funny and uh, interesting. Mm. Something kind of funny that happened from my childhood that I really like and still find, you know, hilarious to this day. Something I like to look back on. So if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button to see me notified as and when I post new videos. I'm going to be back in a few days with another one. So I'll see you guys then. Peace out. See you again.